are you? I'm near the dam. Meet me, and then we'll go to the observatory. That's the place you're looking for. But the observatory's soaked in chemicals. Find me in the two-story building squeezed between the dam and the promenade. It's you. I had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. Well, you patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I... Haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV... what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one. For you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but... First, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there, to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Aiden, <sighs> I wasn't the blocker is working.
Junction in Block B. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. <coughs> Hey, Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica? I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden. I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. Yeah, this place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Sitting on my hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Veronica, the power's back. You all right? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. The 
You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is... pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came, and that was the end. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. Well, we need to open these doors somehow. Maybe from the other side. Now, I'll just plug this cable in. It might work. Get in there somehow and get that door open. Smart move, rerouting the circuit. Yeah, saved my life a few times. Veronica, should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... <laughs> We were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We are all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. Another problem. I'm 
stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are. Department. A mid level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan, director, field labs department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control, one by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him, and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid. Scared. Alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go. So, are we going in? Hope you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. <clears throat> I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Talk 
to me, Veronica. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. Well, well, how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. <laughs> Do something! I'm thinking. So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go! Find the control room. Termination procedure. Ready to begin. Find a way up. Hurry! No! We found one! That's it! Alright, now comes the fun part. Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. <clears throat> oh, God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. I will check my name, Aiden. Aiden. There's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. Aiden? Are you all right? Yes, I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Patient discharged. Were all of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance, uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? 
There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. <sighs> Renegades. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. You all right? Yes, but I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. Hey, Frank? Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? There's no time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. Shit. Okay. On it. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. You want an autograph? Yeah! <laughs> 
there? Veronica? Talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay. Where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the box. We're moving. Veronica? Hold on. Veronica, get away! <laughs> Fucking key! Give it to me! Just run! I'll stop him! Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? with my sister. She's long gone. No! I'll kill you!
Died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. It's too late. 